Hello. No, I can't. <laughs> hello, hello, hello. Welcome back there go. to the next episode of Guru Punch. I'm Ronnie Stanley. I'm Marlon Humphrey here. Very excited to be with you. And we have a special guest. Chris, introduce yourself. Tell us who you are. Tell the people something. Yeah, so I'm Chris Westry. Um, I'm a corner with the Ravens. You guys didn't know. Hand clap. Clamps. Um, Clamp clap. Went to the University of Kentucky. Kentucky. Um, Wildcats. Uh, was, Wildcats. Uh, avid gamer. Love to play the game. Go Cats. Uh, Warzone. Mm. Okay. Warzone. Apex. Two K guy. I'm um, all for it. Um, favorite movie? Uh, Sunset Redemption. Uh, Classic. Followed by Dark Knight. Best okay. uh, superhero movie of all time. Wow. And I would say. Said wow. My third life. My third. Every movie would be a uh, Passion of Christ. Um, Christ we'll get anything. I like range. I like uh, everything white chocolate. And okay. No dark chocolate. No dark chocolate. Dark chocolate is terrible. Oh Damn. wow! What a guy. And, um, white fat. chocolate's not even real chocolate. Yeah, but it's good though. White chocolate? Mm, I mean, There's no that. chocolate cacao in white chocolate. What is cacao? Chocolate. Oh. Oh. So what is nice. it? What should it be called? Then? I don't know. White sizzle, white yeah. Cream, whoa. White pause. Sugar. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sorry, my fault. Um. <laughs> okay, all right, guys. Let's get let's get into the topic. I feel like since Chris just hit on movies just now, I feel like we might as well start the movie just slightly, a little bit on a small teaser we introed last week. I Ronnie, you told me you. Got to see the movie Dune, which is very, very popular right now. It's a very popular movie amongst the youngsters these days. Youngsters only? Yeah, youngsters. I don't think too many old heads are watching Dune, bro. It is a. Did you see Dune? I did not see Dune. Do you know what Dune is? I do not. Tell them. Spoiler alert. I, I, it's oh, based off a book. Okay. That's and there's, I'm really not going to spoil anything. But what is there even to spoil? There's nothing really to spoil. All I'm going to say is I wasn't a big fan of how it ended. I was very. Oh, uh, I thought the fighting scenes were a little bit slow motion, in yeah, my they were opinion. Weak. They were coming from the sky and just like I'm just like there was the only good fighting scene was the dude was like imagining himself fighting. I was like, oh, he's going off. <laughs> Stop it! I was like, oh wait, it's just a dream. That was the best fighting scene. Yeah, he was dreaming. I'm sure it so, couldn't have been worse than Halloween Kills. That was. Is that the last uh, Halloween that just came out? Correct. It was god awful. I haven't even. Really? I have to see yeah, that. It wasn't scary at all. I heard it was, it was bad. terrible. You're not missing anything. It was probably one of the worst movies. Uh, Fast Now uh, was just as bad. But oh, of course. The Fast. F- they're just trolling at this yeah, point. Yeah, wait, Fast? <laughs> Fast and Furious? Fast and Furious? Wait, wait. Which one? How did that one go? I'm, I'm, I'm drawing a blank. Is that the one where he like pulled a helicopter yeah, with his like, arms? Oh, he something? caught a car. <laughs> or he <laughs> caught a car or something? <laughs> I remember I saw that preview. That was, yeah, Fast Nine. Bro, you want to know the Fast and Furious that was really unrealistic, but it didn't really click how unrealistic it was, was when they jumped out of an airplane in a in car. In cars. In cars, and the parachute came out the top. They're they're getting desperate. That was like, that was like Fast 6, though, or they're something. They're desperate. Like but no one said anything then, because it was like, oh, that, that might be realistic, but... They, <laughs> you can do that. Bro... People drop like tanks from planes, bro. Yeah, but they was they would land it on trees and then hit the ground rolling. Yeah, was, oh no no so no! The way it was, ha- it's got to have like a thing around it to hold it. Like yeah, balance. they were just. It can't just be free flying. It was kind of fun. It was cool for a second. I thought it could have. I just that. imagine like army planes, like they'd be dropping vehicles sometimes. Do they? I didn't know they do. Yeah, that. they do that. That's kind of fun, actually. Yeah. That's a little scary though. You cannot control that. Very scary. Um. Yeah. Speaking but, of movies, let's talk about what happened on the movie set of I don't know what it's called, but someone got shot. R.I.P. Alec. Okay, so Alec Baldwin, as Kev looks this up, Alec Baldwin on set acting in a movie he directed, shot somebody with a fake gun 
with a prop, prop gun. Prop gun killed him too. That had real, real ammo. That had a real rant. How does this rounded. happen? How does that happen? It's 2021. We're still trying to figure it out, but they're not talking about it enough. I don't. How does it happen? I'm not sure. I don't even understand. I don't know how these sets work, but I always thought people were using real guns with no bullets at all. But I guess they use fake guns with no. Who's going to be held accountable for this? Somebody has to. Be. The director. Is it the director? Yeah. I don't think it's the director's Whoever fault. Whoever gave him the gun. But who's, who's ever Gotta like in charge? Direct. No, no, no. no. In There's different everything. roles. There's different roles. There has to be someone. I know what you're saying. The director's it, like it, the head person, so they got to take the final. He shot the yes, but there has to. No, 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 no. You're saying Alec? Alec's going to jail. Is he, is he the director? <laughs> no. Yes. I don't it, know. It's kind of like this. No, but, but, but look, look, look. Someone handed him the gun, bro. He's not. It's not his job to check the rounds and see if they're they're fake or not. So whoever is like whoever's in charge of that has to take some type of accountability. He hired somebody to do that. I understand. So they, I'm saying both of them have to take some some accountability. Mm -hmm. Now, if I'm if I'm the guy that gave the gun, I'm I'm blaming it on him. You You can't. What are you gonna say? It still goes down on him. But what are you gonna say if you're the guy that was in charge of loading the ammo? Oh, oh, if that's the situation. Nah, he's screwed too. But yeah, both of them screwed. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. They're both screwed. But, but it kind of comes down to this. With any business, with any team, with anything, you can be like, hey, you, as a coach, you can be like, hey, play this coverage. Then when I don't play the coverage, who it yeah, it looks like it's my fault, but it also is the coach's fault too. You know what I mean? It just it comes it all falls back on the who's who's over everything. I, I believe it was some type of malicious intent because this is a prop gun. How does this even happen with a prop gun? Like, I, I don't understand. It. There could be some theories lingering around. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know why there's ever even am, real ammo in a prop. Yeah, why would there even be anything that near? the purpose of it being a prop. Wait, Kevin he, got something. So, um, so we did shoot a director. It, it was a cinematographer and a director. Um, but also, so... Usually the gun goes through a prop master. Usually they're the one who handles all the props and everything like that. Whether he loaded the gun or not, that can be a debate. Mm. Um, but there was some issues before this, apparent, allegedly, where they had a lot of live ammunition when they really weren't supposed to. Uh-oh. So they could have just been shooting around, you know, in the middle of the desert, like at a firing range or something like that. Uh, but most of the time... Especially with this, they were, the prop gun is a real gun, but they use blanks, so it gives off the same effect as a real gun shooting. Um, so but it has like comes smoke, out. but nothing comes out. So there's still gunpowder, and there's still like a, a poof, right? And, you know, the real action of a gun. But just because it's a prop gun doesn't mean it's not a real gun. Yeah, no, that, that makes sense. sense. Dang, now that I think about it, that would be really loud. Yeah, it's just a bullet with it's a blank. I don't like that. It's probably bad for the ears. Person, gun safety people, have your gun safety. For me, if see, I wouldn't like this because I don't want to shoot a fake. I'd rather shoot a fake gun or there, something. I you don't want to shoot a, a real gun, period, blank. You can't get that effect. That's why they probably do it. I mean, I feel like it's 2021. You can't get the effect of a gun? Yeah, that's what I was thinking. It's hard to believe. It I, is. But how do you, how do one day think? when I'm in Hollywood, one day when I'm acting on these roles, Nate side, gun, no, sir. How do you guys think? No, no prop guns. I'm good. What if if they give you like, you have to take down like 50 zombies, bro, and you have this huge Yeah, I'm only having the gun. I'm not getting shot. Oh, okay, okay. So, hey, look, let me check the gun first. So what if it's like a bad boys thing and like you're playing a younger Will Smith and then like they, uh, they're, you know, the cartels coming at you. They got all these prop guns pointed at you, which you're going to be like, no, I'm not doing this I'm going to tell them I need a, uh, a, a vest? A vest. Nah, bro. They say you got to go up there with a, a tank top, like glasses and a tank top. That's and me. you have to murk everyone. All I know is this, man. I get shot on set, mess around. I'm, <laughs> my family better be suing, or if I'm dead, then <laughs> yeah. God, they don't let me go out like that. All right. A man eats at Six Flags every meal since 2014 to pay off student debt. That's like every meal. How every do you day. pay it? How do That's you like pay every it, meal every day? How do you pay it off by eating? He was saving money. I believe it was a hundred and fifty dollar yearly membership to Six Flags, 
And he ate there every single day. That's for free? Smart. Did he eat there for free? Yes. That's smart. $150 for a whole year? Yes. Is that smart? They probably looked out, you know, for him. Like, that's doing the, this. First off, this is what I thought about. You have to pay for the food still, right? This is what right? I thought about. You have to pay for the food. I don't think you pay for. I think you. I think he was getting free food. Definitely getting free food. But this is what I was thinking. Yeah, depending on how far he lives, unless he was getting gas to get there. He I know the parking right. he was, was probably right was around the, the corner. Parking yeah, free? he definitely thought all of all bro, of that through. He was like, probably right around the corner, bro. Yeah. Okay, this story is a lot crazier than I thought it was. So he spent 150 a year. That's total, like parking included, meals were included. So he paid that 150 to eat basically three meals a day and save as much money as he possibly could. Dope. Anyone could have done that, he, right? He, he went every day, right? Every day. In any for, for since 2014. Yeah, 150 dollars a year to to eat three did, meals a day. Did he share this information with his buddies? I have no idea. His buddies probably didn't want to do that. Who wants to do that? That's though? actually dope, though. I mean, that's not you, dope, bro. bro, you know you, like, you bro eat listen, good. listen, listen. If you're right around the corner, some some people live right around the corner from Six Flags. But bro, to go every day, that's like a bike a, ride. Sometimes you didn't take a vacay. You wasn't. You was. What do you mean a vacay, bro? Bro, you didn't ever. You was that. You was there every day. Every day you was at home. <sighs> out of town, you might have to this break not that bread. Deep. I don't know if it's that deep. Is it that deep? I mean, 150 for a whole year, bro. That's a lot of money saved. That that's is a lot of money saved. Money. I'm not. I can't. That's a I could, lot of money he's, saved. He's built different, though. He probably, you know, he eating the same thing at some point. No. At some point, they don't got that many options. Bro, yes, they do. That's the thing. He's, he's for sure. Think about plugged the whole in. park. You have the whole park to choose from. See, bro. I doubt that option was. There's no way they he got had, a taco world, in. a burger there's world. No way he was at a churro world. He's plugged in. He's not eating the same thing. They got corn dog world. He's probably. Bro, Nacho wants, world. That boy, think about how many glizzes he ate in one year. Bro. That man's sick. But think that how many ways you can prepare a, lot, bro. a glizzy. That man bro, but he probably has some bro. fire lemonades in his life. No, there some was of those no jumbo bro. lemonades, I don't strawberry believe lemonades. That this hundred and fifty dollar fee was some getting fire him all churros. these ICs. I don't think he was getting all that. Yes, he was he was probably getting every the now basic and then meal. he was like, you know, I'm just gonna grab me a churro because it's free and I can you get whatever. Have I to want. Horizon. He probably was plugged in. I'm going to get me a snow cone well, because I, I, I can. It's like a this. hot day. You know, why don't I just go get a snow cone next to my uh, next to my house, take my bike? He was coming in there so much that the workers probably really started, like... That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. So he was, okay, I did not know what we're talking about. He was in there every day. He's probably in there he after a, hours. He was a normal guy. He was a low... He was, a he was probably regular. in there where like, everyone's walking out there cleaning. He's probably, probably just picking up. Himself. You know, they're probably like, hey, what y'all got himself. back there? Hook me up. But who wants... I don't even think Six Flags got breakfast, though. But it's not. It's I ain't never seen no eggs and bacon out of there now. He I'm, probably bought it himself, bro. There has to be like a buffet world or something there. A buffet. When the last time y'all been to Six Flags? Never been. Been a while. Flags. It's been never a while. Been to Six, Flags? Been to Six Flags. Six Flags is fun. I'm not an amusement. You know, you're not a roller coaster. Roller you don't like the My stomach on the ground. You don't yeah. like the stomach dropping yeah. stuff. Oh, that stuff is crazy. I ain't gonna lie. I love a good old roller coaster. Yeah, makes you feel alive. <laughs> I actually be feeling alive when I'm on a roller coaster or not, but I, I, I do see what you're saying. Did you guys see the recent news of uh, Zuckerberg over the weekend? Oh, you're talking about the meta. Facebook. No more. Strictly meta. meta. You know, in, in the world of like video games, meta is always used as that's the king. Mm. Oh, I didn't even know that. Is yeah. it? He's trying to revamp. But he's getting- Like when the we, There's like a gun That comes in the game And it's like unbeatable People are like That's the meta I'm, I'm, I guess the, I'm not the, a gamer That's so just the best I did not know that But I believe If I I'm like, not corrected Kev game. look this up for me He's the, he's uh, getting into the, the metaverse He thinks it's the future Yeah Of Of uh, life I mean this- Social media for sure If you're like if you're, the like, people on Facebook are definitely going to be the it's like virtual world. Dude, you can buy virtual land right now. Yeah, for sure. I don't know. I I don't think I'm going to get too too much involved. I'll say this: there's a crypto uh, like that. I think you have to have to buy the land or something. Is that Ethereum? No, it's like decentralized something. The central land. I bought it. I just know that mm-hmm. it's kind of going up. It's, you know, it's a little up and down. But I, if it's the future. Fellas, you might need to buy some real estate. 
I don't know if that's a future I want to invest in. Virtual real estate. I don't think I want to either. You know what I mean? But a wise man told me this. Is this a wise man? Yes, I say he's a wise man, but is he? He's a wise man. Anyway, he said, hey, man, the crazy thing is, man, when you hear about all these little things, these new things going on, if you got a little change to spare, it's worth putting a little, a little coin there, a little coin there, a little coin there. And I thought to myself, I sat there thinking to myself, there's a lot of stuff that you didn't heard about like five, 10 years ago. You was like, what is that? 10 years later? Uber. Agreed. It's a thing. It's a thing. So you got a little Bitcoin. Bitcoin. I remember my brother got me Bitcoin when I was like a rookie. I'm like, bro, come on, man. What'd come you do? On, Did you keep it? Yeah, but it was only like $100 or something like that. Or yeah, it but, might have been lower than that. Anyway, it, if I would have been like, man, let me let me put a little change in that. Would have went crazy. But I, I mean, I feel like with that logic, if you know that, you probably just play the lottery. You could have played the lottery by now. No, that is... <laughs> The lottery is what but one in a. But you saying if I would have did that, if it was a fifth, we would all be. Oh, okay. I see what you're saying. Like, There's a lot of okay. things to risk. Yeah. What is a risk? Risk is you know something that I don't know. How do you define a risk? Uh, it's a what's risk? a risk without saying risk? Yeah. What's a it's, risk? It's, what's a risk? <sighs> Taking a chance. Yeah, it's taking, taking a, a chance. chance. Um, something bad happening. Yeah, and the possibility of what you invested, you won't get in return. It's an opportunity cost yeah. of hey. decisions. If you feel it in that gut, man. Actually, not really. So, most of the yeah, time, I was like, yeah, you can't I always trust Most of the time, you, you're not going to a lot of this stuff. But yeah, you, look, you should be like, I just know this. This is what I, in this different little side of the world, it's some, it's some, I would say weird, but I don't want to say weird. It's some strange slash unique individuals in the world who I guess they're struggling on what to do with their dough. So they do different things. And for some reason, it seems like those things are always ended up dealing with this metaverse. Yeah. World type stuff. So it is. I mean, there is have money. Have I bought some virtual land? No, I have not. But there's money involved. But I don't know. I think there's a lot of risk. There's a lot of risk involved, especially. I, mean, don't go, I don't think you should go crazy unless you really enjoy it. Because if you buy it, then you can always hang out at your own virtual I'm not, fake place. I'm not sold on like even like NFTs becoming like the new. I have gotten into NFTs. And I, don't and know I, I would look at it as like an investment. You know what I mean? Something to make money off of. But I'm not going to look at it as like. You know, this is like really valuable to me. Like, I'm never gonna look at somebody like, "Yo, this picture is worth a hundred thousand dollars." But I'll look at it and be like, "Yo, if someone else thinks it's a hundred thousand dollars, I might get it, so I can sell it for two hundred thousand. But to me personally, I would never look at like something digital and be like, "You know what? That's worth that much to me," without the possibility of you know. Yeah. See, but that agree. And people always I'm argue. Kinda, I've I'm kinda, seen. I'm kind of on that. Like I've gotten into NFTs, as you know, and I don't really know how that's going to all of a sudden ignite in the future. I don't, but I do know this. It, what makes something valuable is us. It's just, exactly. It's how it's, the, it's it really the, nothing is really. It's the eye of the beholder. Whoever valuable. That's, that's all, yeah. That's, so, but I'm I'm. So that's why I'm saying like you're you're just diversifying your your money in different like avenues. Yeah, it's just, it's basically but just I, I bet if I been like Marlon, is this picture like really worth this much to you? If you didn't know other people valued uh, oh, this no. picture. Yeah, exactly. Not. Exactly. That's, that's my point. Like, like it's hard. Like anything. It's like. hard for me. No, I, mm. But this is just like a, f <laughs> yeah, this is different. This You can't pick this. With up. art, it's definitely like with anything. You're right. It, Cause yeah. it's so it's subjective. It's essentially just, yeah, it's essentially just art. Yeah. Basically. They're pure. Nah, it's, uh, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a if metaverse is the right term for all this stuff, I don't know if it is. Not really, but the cryptocurrency world basically it all falls up under that. It's a different space, but it's some definitely people passionate about their projects. And uh man, I'm not gonna lie. Someone told me about all this about a lot of this stuff like five months ago. I thought I just, you know, once again. But you did, didn't you? No. No, I did like month, two months ago. Like two months ago. They were telling me about virtual 
No, they're talking about horse racing. Yeah, bro, but you got to understand not now. Virtual horse racing. I'm but like, but, but it's crap? like now that it's like growing, you know what I mean? That it's it's going to be uh, diluted or it's going to be. Yeah. There's going to be so many different ones. That it's so going to be like. Make. So yeah, it's, it's really, it doesn't, like, and I'm not saying it doesn't take talent to make digital art. It definitely does. But it, it's definitely less time consuming, in my opinion, than someone sitting there on a canvas, like someone physically doing the work. Actually, I don't even know how it, it is to make this up, but I'm assuming it would be much easier. It's like the difference of carving marble into a statue versus carving it with a pen on a screen. Carving you know what I mean? Into a yeah. It's like there's actual, there's a difference there. And carving marble but i'm saying the time it takes to do that now people can just do whatever they want it's kind of in the matter of minutes and like replicate that. put different layers on it make thousands of copies of something and be like each one is a hundred thousand dollars and there'll be like a thousand projects like that and now now it's just up to a certain group of people to pick which one is valuable and which one isn't and like as long as that group of people decide this one is the one we want, these monkeys or you know, these whatever. These are the ones. But it really correlates the same thing in life though. No, a hundred percent. But I'm saying your your fate is always gonna be 10, predicated 000. on what this group what this group is like, their decisions. And it'll never be about your merit or like the work you've put in. It'll all be a be based upon or like do you, can you sell this to this group of people? Why do they choose you over anything else? Or why did they choose this one? You said about a lot of things, Ronnie. That's what I'm saying. That's, that's uh, for sure. A hundred thousand people make purses, but then Louis Vuitton comes out and they like, this is the purse. Yeah. A hundred percent. But I'm saying with art, it's way more subjective versus football or something else that you're physically putting in the work. Yeah. You can't hide what's on the film. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you, no. you're, if you, you can't hide the work that you put in because it shows on itself and with other stuff sometimes like that work is not actually shown because all you see is the final product which is just a picture sometimes and you don't see whatever that the story behind what that person put into it or whatever yeah. just because well, you'll, buy certain things, too, you'll buy certain things because of the story right yeah, yeah 100%. because of you too, though. i bought certain things because of the story behind it and like i have <laughs> I've heard certain things because you know I bought art because like these from these rituals of uh, indigenous people in Mexico and they go under this uh, you know spiritual journey and they come out and they hand bead on this this sacred carved wood and I I bought it because of the story you know what I mean because of like the spiritual meaning behind it. Yeah, I, I agree. I I feel like. I don't know. I feel like it's hard to translate that into a digital space, like a story, like of someone's like physical work into this piece yeah, of art some people, a, on, on a screen. Yeah, I think the digital art. There's just a flip side to. <laughs> there's just a flip side side to everything you're saying. A hundred percent, because like you said, some people can draw a splatter of paint and say this really exactly. That's it's that's what I'm saying. Art with art, it's so subjective, bro. Anyone can see this guru punch sign and be like, yo, that's. I'd pay a million dollars for that. And if they do, guess what? Now this sign is literally worth a million dollars just because one person set a value for it. And now if you someone else wants to buy it, you'd be like, oh, no, this is worth a million dollars. And then now the market has begun. Now, you know, that's... And, but these groups will get together and kind of create their own market with art. And that's why it's so hard because now you're all subjected to, like, what the group chooses is, like, art. Because like you said, it could be a splash on a wall and be like, yo, we we mess with this one, not that one, you know? <laughs> yeah, so. it's all art's cap. Um, it's it's a beautiful thing. I think art's beautiful. Come here, Snowflake. There's many things that are beautiful that are capped, though. <laughs> True, Marlon. Kevin, Kevin, say it us, again. Say it again. Tell us about uh, this Colorado hiker. All right. So <clears throat> let me pull up the story. So... This Colorado hiker wandered off trail and was lost for 24 hours and ignored the rescuer's phone calls because he did not recognize the number. Bro, the craziest thing is about this, well, actually, there's nothing. Well, that's crazy. But what this makes me think of, when a random number calls you, do you answer? Not really, no. Not at all. Not a chance. Not a chance? Not a chance. Yeah. Random numbers called me? Hello? No, uh sir. Every time, look, this is why, this is why, this is why. Maybe it's only me that's like this. Maybe it's only me. When I, 
when I get somebody's number, I think my dog got inside. He knows how to open the door. <laughs> um, when I when I get someone's number, I need a task done. I need something done. I call them. Or I meet somebody, like, just got someone's number, I just call them. Whether I know them or don't know them. Well, you're trying to get them to, like, do some work for Do you. some work for me. Okay. They don't answer? Yeah. I'm probably done. You don't text? Probably going to the next person. You don't text? Sometimes, but not really. Not all the time. Just like, yo, I need... No answer? You don't even leave a voicemail? Screw them! Wow. I called you, and you don't even answer. <laughs> they don't even know it's you, though. Now, you don't know who could be calling you. Exactly, you bro. Answer, you answer... Bro, what is a... Okay, then check this out. Check this out. So one thing, think about, you give them a heads think up? Think about the positives. Think about the like these small businesses. Think about the positives in answering a random phone call and the negatives of answering a random phone call. No, but a lot What's of the What's the worst times, thing that happen with a negative phone A call? lot of the times, the number you probably get is someone's cell phone number, not like the work number. Yeah, either way, answer the f- f- call. I don't know, bro. I, get, I've been get, I, I bet everyone can attest. You've been getting, a, I personally been getting a lot of spam calls. Yeah. that Like okay. in the last, just the last like year that, or two. Well, it takes what? It you, is weird. You answer and then you realize it's spam what? No, you, bro. I'm done answering. three seconds of your I'm life? I'm done messing with you them. You lost three seconds Bro, because you know when you answer, they'll call you back more. But then you answer, <laughs> you answer, and it's somebody saying, Roddy, man, I'm in a bad situation, man. I'm so happy you called. You were the last number I had, man. I had 1% on my phone, Roddy. You saved my life. Think about that. How great is that? What's the chances of that? Well, yeah, what like, are the think chances about it. Think, of about that? It. think about this. Think about this. When you call your mom, does she usually answer the phone? Yes, because she has my number What saved. if it's from a random number, from a random phone? No, because she doesn't oh, know it's when me. I call my mama. She be answering. She don't know it's me. Yeah, my, my mom, mom be answering. My mom definitely answered. See, random thank you. Why is that? Random Why numbers? is that? Because she don't know. Yeah, she, she don't know. That, that might like be my baby. Let me answer the phone. That might be my baby. That, that's no. mother's intuition. This guy, he was not. I'm telling you, bro. Y'all yeah, know. this guy's <laughs> hiking, bro. This guy's in the mountains. He's not in the position not to answer the phone. Like, he should. Bro, but this is what I'm saying. <laughs> like I said, the that's one of the ne- the negatives are that this dude over here stranded. The Name thing alone. is, did, did he ever get that. help? Or did he need help? Did he actually need the help? Wait, if he was looking for help and then not answer. No, I don't think he I don't think yeah, he was he, looking for help. I think they just found him because they couldn't contact him and he was just like, yo, what's good? Because he was gone for so long and they were trying to call him. Wait, Kevin, give us more details. I, I think that's what happened, bro. Answer your phone calls. I mean, if you're good, why do you need to answer some random calls? Or you, if you, if, if it's really an issue, it still text can me. be a, an, an emergent. You don't know. It could be someone. Like, all right, all right. Emergencies so, can happen. I'll tell you people. what. I'll tell you what. If I get the same call, same call from a number, twice, I'll probably answer. It three times, I'll for sure answer. Man, I'm answering that first time, man. What if they was finna draft you, Ronnie? The Baltimore Ravens want to draft well, I'm you. I'm aware of and the you situation. You don't answer the call. Well, They're going to the next on guy. Draft day. I'm gonna answer They're every single call. They're going to the call. next guy. Also, don't be treating draft day like every day at the same. Every day ain't draft day. <laughs> you, treat, you treat draft day like it's more different than the next day. I ain't looking Brother, for so random calls on on every other day. On draft day, I'm looking no, for look, random calls. I can't. That is the one day I was looking when for random called calls. Me, that was random. It actually happened today. I answered. It was a grass guy, but something good happened out of me answering a random, random. So phone. you always answer random. Phone. I answer random phone. Call. Always One time it. I answered. Some kid was asking me about fantasy. Somebody got my number. Talking about who should I take Raven Davis on fantasy? I do. Not I'm like, believe, I do not believe you answer every. Bro, I uh, answer the random calls. Does, sometimes does. that gets me in sticky situations. Sometimes I bet. it I does. Bet. That's why I don't do That's it. That's why you do not answer every single. But what's the worst, man? The worst is someone's going to put you in a situation. Like what? A very uncomfortable situation. Yeah, uncomfortable. Uncom- what are you th- Oh, Marlon. Uh, I'm in the hospital. Yeah, uh, I can- I'm about uh, to die. Yeah, if you don't give saying? me $20,000, no, I'm just going to make gonna, sure I'm gonna, everyone all, knows that you were the one that let me down. Well, right, how is <laughs> the scenario he brought up not Exactly. So, oh, thank God. You saved my life 1% love. Now you got to get up. Yeah. Like, what am I going to do? Dude. I have 1% of my battery. You can at least make a call. <laughs> you can save the person's life. All right, what instead, do you say? Instead, oh, instead listen, that's that's like, it's like Marlon. No, I'm 
I'm not. I don't need. A, I don't need. What to pick me up? I'm in the hospital. <laughs> <laughs> well, I just need 20k. No, dude, that's not gonna happen. Marlon, but that is not gonna. You know why? Right, no, you know why? Your happen? situation is not gonna happen. Yeah, this, situation, happen. this situation. This situation is just as likely as your dude, situation. Dude, no, 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 you no, know no, why no. it happened to Ronnie though? Look, because he went. I don't have exactly. I don't, <laughs> dude. In life or death situations, sometimes people's. You, you go, answer every. Sometimes your mind goes crazy a little bit. So why would they call? They, they, might, they might be like, "Oh my god!" And you think in life and, death situation and, they're gonna call one of us? And they're calling their friend. They're supposed to be calling their friend named Rambo, but then they just made a mistake. Can't see right. Click Ronnie Stanley, and they call Ronnie Stanley. Uh, oh my gosh! Please answer! Please answer! And then you don't answer, and then the phone just beep 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 <laughs> over. That's a this. It guys is that what look, goes to your head every time you hear your phone call? <laughs> You're like, oh guys, my gosh, this guy's about to. I'm telling you, somebody important yeah. called me one time. I can't remember who it was. When that, important, but man. it was important. But also, the flip side of that is, what's the worst that can happen, man? Worst that can happen, someone could ask you for you 50K might be. Getting, I'll be look, look on look, the first hospital. Off, first off, first off, let me tell you how I go. Let me let me really tell you how how I rock. Sometimes. I'd be like going out of my way to try to, you know, rock with a certain business or something. What you mean? Like calling somebody. Like I don't be, te- well, what do I, I'm not going to text you. Just call. You know what I mean? Just call. Boom. They don't answer. I'm literally like, nah, screw it. Like, I'll do it. You know, you know how we roll? We be busy. We be like, oh, they didn't answer. And I just leave it at that. Oh, yeah, they didn't answer. I'll text. I'll give them a text. Yeah, you have to like, you got to send a text out before you call. Oh, man. Business etiquette. I think hold, hold etiquette is a text you, first. Never call, you never call somebody that got got your number. They like, ba 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 ba. They say their name and their company. Business etiquette, man. I don't know, you know. That's if you're calling their work phone. Blah 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 blah. Then you got think. You don't. Know, everyone don't answer their cell phone like that. Yeah, even if they're like a, they have a job. I think my dad low key be doing that. Low key. His cell phone. Maybe he used to. How many people? You think, how many people actually have your phone number though? Yeah, I've had the same number since high school. Me too. I mean, and I haven't really had. To, I mean, I ain't blocked a lot of people, but must, I mean, I don't like, block really. Must be nice. It must be nice. I don't block I'll probably people. have to change it. One I just day. don't answer. <laughs> and if you call me, and you well, don't, you're put not going to answer your phone. If anyway. you call me and I and you, and you and I don't answer and you don't follow it up with a text, it wasn't that important. It wasn't that important. How? That's what I say. They, they dead now No They in the they, hospital now you are, they, have, they needed you for an emergency You weren't there every, Worst case scenario yeah. you, you Every call I get I don't think about This might be the guy's Last five seconds well, but On earth be, What I'm saying is It could be But what are the chances of that Just like you were saying What are the chances of my scenario What are the chances of It being the last ten seconds on It's more It could be Okay 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 Look <laughs> Look This is what I'm also saying it could be someone else calling from a number that they don't have their normal phone. That's what I'm really it, getting at. Okay, but if risk. that is the case and that person doesn't have their phone, they usually text another person, hey, I lost my phone. I'm going to call you from blah, blah, blah's phone. They ain't got time. They take <laughs> they, they're, 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 like, I don't think they're all in life or death for, situations. They, all first, I'm saying is this, there's more positives that can happen than negatives. Is all I'm saying. I don't know. I think there's a what lot more. There's not a single I wonder how Besides, much I wonder how much time you've wasted on calls throughout your whole life, like honestly, on calls that you didn't want to be on, and you added up all those seconds together. It probably a good couple dude, hours of your I'm life not, just answering random calls. No, yeah, a little bit. Not, dude. I look. I'm not the. I'm not gonna say I'm mean, but I'm not the nice. Like people don't really call me <laughs> just to be like, man. Let me. Let me. I'll be like, bro. Like, I, I'm quick to like. It's pretty clear if we are friends or we're not friends. Of course, but you'll answer regardless. No, 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 no. I, I, I tell like if you're like bothering me, like I ignore you for a while, and then like you're like you keep doing it. Eventually, I have to be like, hey, man, look, we're not cool. Like, <laughs> stop. You know what I mean? So like, I make it very clear. So like a lot of randoms, <laughs> we're not cool. Yeah, I, I had to do that one time to one of my one of my homies. I was like, bro, we're not friends. So <laughs> and he didn't. We didn't. Con- we don't contact anymore. Okay. So you make that clear early on, but when you don't answer, and then you know they text you, then you tell you back, it it makes it great. Uh But that had nothing to do with what I'm talking about, really. What I'm talking about is answer your phone calls, people, and good things will come. This is not necessarily true. Not every time. Anyway, guys, we're going to recap Halloween. Um, (laughs) What candy did you get? I sadly did not decorate Snowflake. I actually. Kind of got 
mixed up. Man, it got back too late Sunday night. Didn't hand out any candy to the kids. Didn't have any candy. Didn't dress up. Didn't even watch a Halloween movie. Wow. I did buy three, two pump, two pumpkins. Did you carve them? No. Mm. So my Halloween spirit was a... Carveless. A F. I got an F. Ronnie, talk to me. Well, no one visited the Guru Estates. Um, I mean, you live... Yeah, no, we got we got a kid. He's a neighbor. You know, I thought he was gonna come bring his friend. You know, uh, no, no candy given. You wouldn't have gave him candy anyway. I would have had so much candy for him, but you know, it was a kind of lonely like Chris. Anything? No, I'm pretty much like on the same type beat. Marlon was. Ah, you're a what's your favorite guy. candy, you're a guy. Chris? Chris, what's your you favorite? You don't like candy? kids, huh? I do not like kids. Oh my goodness! Wow. What type of guy are you? I mean, my boy does carry a Chucky doll on him. I, uh, you don't like kids? That's just a, it's a very hectic responsibility. Yeah. You're not going to be a kid, no babies one day? Zero. See, look, okay, look, perfect example to bring this up. Okay, you're you're quick, Chris Western. Right? Correct. <laughs> You'll, do you want to get married one day or no? No. Oh, crap. So one day, then, you know, hopefully not no time soon, let's knock on wood. You are going to pass. We all are going to die one day. Correct. And you're, what you've done is just going to die right there. Nothing's going to live on. I have a little brother. So you're hoping he has a baby. <laughs> Possibility of adoption. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Great. So you do like kids. Oh, you want to adopt a grown kid. Three years old, maybe four. No crying. You don't want yeah, the crying like, stage. That, that's just too much. Sleep. No pampers. Zero. He might have one in back is a pooping himself just cuz. <laughs> just saying. <laughs> but um That was Marlon. Yeah. I yeah, I just okay, that's good. Guys, I just I just feel like I'm not saying you gotta leave a legacy at all, but I just feel, I feel like what you're if you just die, are you just like die, you just die. Gotta let the bloodline Yeah, you want the bloodline to keep going. Keep going. Kinda. So how many kids you want? Shoo. Don't get me started, man. I'm trying about four, four, five of them things. Four of them, yeah. four of them things. Well, I came from a big family, and I think it's just fun doing family stuff. Um, you want a you want a Jackson Five? You want a Humphrey Five? Jackson five. Uh, uh, yeah, candy I think, cow. Humphrey I honestly five. respect that. I just mm-hmm. just considering the position we we're, we're yeah, in. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, pause, bro. Pause, but uh, yeah, like you want to get the money back to the government? The truth. The government. <laughs> How like do will we ever really find true love though? Like, you know, that's I didn't want to get I don't want to get too much into hey, it. But, hey. but like, Look. you know, it's always in the back of your head, like, does she really love me for me? Mm. Dang, bro. Speaking of true love, truth. That's probably another segment for another day, because love is love is a thing. What do you really know about it? Guard your heart. Mm. As Johnny Shelton always says, guard your heart. Guard it. I feel I feel like as a black man, we always do that since true. from the jump. Wait, did he say guard your heart? Yeah, Especially in the positions we're in now. Yeah, like, it's just but amplified. Everywhere, honestly. It doesn't even matter the position. You got to open the heart a little bit. You know, you got you to gotta, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta you gotta open it to allow you know, a little, little oxygen to come in. Some That's light. a big risk, though. That's a big risk to take. Hey, man. It is. This is a risk. We talked about risk, risk involved. earlier, just too. Talked, you're right. We talked about risk. But back to love. Let's talk about Jada Pinkett Smith. Mm. She's the worst. Great transition there. Freaking Jada Pinkett Smith. <laughs> I don't I will, uh, Okay I'm not gonna say I don't I'm not gonna say I don't like anyone That I don't know I don't care how bad Of a person <laughs> you are I don't ever say I don't like somebody Because I've never met you I can't judge you Based off What you're What you say And or do You well, can That's not true That's kinda not true Kind of can I'm, say, I'm saying but you can But you can't Because you don't have The full picture But you kind of You can just base an opinion And be like This is all I know Yes And this is what I see From what I know Tell me about Jada Pinkett Smith. What happened with the news recently? Don't talk about it too much. Too much. That's I feel great. like she's the worst. You... She's always down in my guy so, Will Smith. I feel like Will Smith when he's a great guy. I feel like and he's a top. Well, he, he's a top actor, man. But for sure, I don't know what type of guy he is. But he's he like, Denzel. But he's up there. But he ain't Denzel because Denzel got that old man like Denzel. Bro, Denzel. <laughs> I would look, bro. Denzel could come dressed up as a coach, and I would believe he was a coach. Yeah. <laughs> I'll be like, oh, that's he the coach does, yeah, I knew yeah, from. Yeah. Uh, I agree. But it's crazy. From, uh, we think we know these people. Coach. We think we know these people based off their actors, <laughs> but we don't know <laughs> no how they idea. act. But that's what leads me to say, though. Like, that's all I'm saying. It's, it's always two parts to a story, though. So we 
I'm it seems like Will Smith is this great guy before well, we, know. we have no idea. He I'm not the saying he's a great guy. At the end of the day, she'd be talking too much about the yeah, whole too relationship. Much. Bro, the, like, the, but we shouldn't even be having any information about y'all sex life. Uh, about any of yeah, it. We feel I feel too comfortable. But they feel so comfortable it, talking it, about it. It's, it's, not it's unnecessary. Sense in an open forum. Is she like on live or whatever, podcast, table talk, whatever? So we need to bring on Guru Punch, man. Let's, she needs, let's, let's hash this out at the on the around, punch around the guru sign hashes out around the guru sign man figure out what's going on um that might be a sneak peek to our next guest guys we might have a smiths in the building um one of them uh, let's get both both let's get uh J- the jada 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 is her name her what's his son name what's his son name jada jayla jaden let's, let's get all the smiths Jaden and Jada Smith? and what's the, the what's Jada the Vegas. what's the daughter? Is it Smith attached to it? Willow. Yeah, Willow. She's different. I like that name. Jada though. Willow. Dang, that name is kind of fire. Jada Willow. I, Willow is dope. Willow's a dope. Yeah, name. I want to. If I did have a song, I want to name him Gift. Is that a, like? What do you guys think about that? That's Gift. Dope. Gift. So it'd be like Gift. That's kind of Gift fire. Westry. That is good. Yeah. I want to name my kid something unique too. Copernicus. That's terrible. The, okay. That don't what? Do that. I don't. Not me. Copernicus. I will see that. I'm naming my son Ronnie. Oh, you're gonna make a junior. Third, I'm already a junior. You gotta oh, keep but it. Damn, bro, the, it's hard to outdo you, bro. He, what might, do you he mean? might feel like oh, you don't gotta do. I can never be as good as my dad. Nah, bro, bro you, you put him in a box. I, he don't gotta play football, bro. Bro, but you're gonna put him in a box. Nah, bro, I'm gonna tell Ronnie, him to break the box early on. I'll be like, yo, break the box. Oh, so he gonna have to be. I mean, it's gonna be hard to top you. I'm saying, do whatever you want. You, you know, you got a million dollar contract. You, you got third overall. Uh, I mean, Notre Dame, the hey. best college in the year. He nation. can do whatever he wants. Those are traits of a good father. You know, force nothing. He can do whatever he wants. Just he's just gotta. You say that, but he's not gonna be on that time. He uh, is, yeah. bro. Because I'm gonna make sure. How? I mean, like, don't no, stop. Don't try to impress me. Do what you want. I feel like it's easier said than done, though. It like is. <laughs> I'm gonna make it. Day his son comes, he's just gonna be like, "Hold on, he, nah. he, we gotta but get he, right. he gonna he gonna miss First, one. He, gonna, he ain't playing football, bro, for miss, a while. He gonna miss one block, bro. He ain't you playing football as good for a while. Your dad. That's exactly what he's gonna. He do. gonna play football you for a while, bro. Your dad. Bro, first of all, he's not playing football for a while. Maybe flag, getting some flag. It don't matter what he do. They're gonna say you're never gonna be as good as your dad, bro. If it's a different sport, they're never gonna know. You know what I'm saying? You'll never know. They definitely uh, they are going to know though. But no, no, eventually. I, but I'm saying, as a kid yeah. growing up, you know, you'll never. See, what really did know. I know? My dad was. I have no idea. Did anyone on your track team really know? Shout out to your, my. Did they ever say anything about your dad, like during track or anything, or was it only football? I don't think people really said stuff about my dad in general. Though I never was like not that good. Uh, I used to be trash. Nah, I never really was just trash though. So, yeah. So they never said it. So it's a perfect example. But my my uh-huh. dad's name is Bobby. My name is Marlon. Okay, for sure. Yeah, I, even then, like your name is. I like, don't think that. Like, I don't. I don't even. It's think like it, LeBron James. But listen, son. They, he named him Bronny. But that's my point. I don't even What's think it matters mean? about the name. Like you're you being in his son. That's but that's that's, that's gonna be. In, they're gonna say I'll it. Say they're this. gonna say it enough. This is what's gonna happen. This just know that this happens a lot. Right. What's your name? My name is Ronnie. What's your last name? Stanley. You Ronnie Stanley's son. And that right there is going to happen all the time. No, it's not going to happen. Bro, oh my but goodness. Bro, you think I'm that famous that I'm, people are just going to know who I Dude, am? Ronnie like? G. Stanley the <laughs> Third. <laughs> this guy's actually hilarious, but that's, the, that's, the inevitable. <laughs> that's the inevitable, though. That's going to happen. Bro, you're, I didn't know you were a second, though. I really did not know that. Yeah, bro. Oh, that's good stuff. Oh, man. I don't want to be. Actually, I wouldn't have cared about this in your. You know what I'm saying? You wouldn't care. You'd be like, yeah, that's kind of cool. Bro. Nah, no press. No press. But I feel you. Shout out my boy Mark Ingram, the second, right? Or is he the third? I talked to Mark Ingram last night, people. Did you see him with that 1 4? Yes, bro. It did not look right. Ew. It didn't but, look right. But. I texted him, bro. I'm, I felt bad because I was texting him like chilling, like on Sunday. Like I was like, "Hey, bro, what's good?" He like I didn't think he was playing this week because I thought he no, had to I, sit I a saw, week. No, I saw they had him active. I saw they were gonna have him. Like, I thought he had to sit a week, so I'm texting him on Sunday, like midday. Like, yeah, what up, bro? No, no. <laughs> when he got his first carry, I forgot he was on the team though. 
And then I was no, like, I saw that too. I was, I was like, like, wait, he's playing no, today. I, I was like, I didn't what's realize going it until on? He was like tackled and already going back. I was like, oh, he told. Who? I was like, who's fourteen? I was like, who's that? Is? He told who's that one four. I was like, he told the rock. He didn't like he played. Oh my gosh, that's that's Mark. That was that was ugly. But I'm happy for my boy. Shout out to Mark Ingram. Speaking of trades, Vaughn. Freaking Miller. Miller. To the Rams. That's not fair. That's, you know, that's, I thought a, that's, Bronco a, that's a big for move. Life. I thought Von Miller would be a Bronco for life. 100%. Do you it's think a staple, he want, do you he's a stable he, endeavor? He's a you, Denver legend. Yeah, he, Denver legend. Do you think he wanted to get traded? You know what? I don't know. I have no idea. I can't speak on it because I have zero clue. <laughs> I bet they respect him a lot. He he probably. I think LA they, really wanted him. Yeah, yeah. They probably were like, Vaughn, man, this is a good deal. But, dude, so. It's good for right. both teams. Good for both teams. It's good for both teams. It's good for both teams. I mean, they got a good. It was a. I thought it was an equal trade. Yeah, I thought it was a very good trade. Very equal trade. Because that's his last year on the deal. Yeah. Yeah. Very equal trade. Um, Rams seem like they're trying Chris, to go all in. What do you think about that, man? It's crazy. I don't think that's a great trade. It's a great trade. You don't think it's a great trade? For. The Rams to give up a second and a third round. I thought it was two second. Two second round picks. I mean, I mean but his contract I, is up. He's 32. 30, he's 32. Broncos are like looking towards the future. Yeah. They're trying to cut their losses now. That's what they're thinking. They're like, yeah. he's not going to be yeah. here next year. Right. What can we get for him? Which I, that's good. It's good for the Broncos, but not necessarily for the Rams. I feel like yeah, the Rams, they are looking for like a... It depends. It the Rams depends. are clearly trying to win the Super Bowl yeah, yeah, this yeah. year. They're clearly yeah. going all in. So it all depends on, you know, Vaughn's production. Correct. Is he the same, you know? Will this be a Khalil Mack type deal where he just goes and goes crazy right when he gets traded? You know Which, I mean? Khalil Mack went crazy. So when Khalil Mack got crazy. traded, the first game, crazy. He, Yeah, Khalil Mack went nuts. Yeah, yeah he had like three, four sacks the first game he got traded, so... We'll see. We'll see. I'm happy for my boy Vaughn. You know, if he's happy, you know, it's a good uh, if Vaughn's happy, I'm happy about this trade. If he's not, I'm not happy. You know what I mean, I yeah. really, it's all on the player. And I, if, I saw if, something that he, I don't know. I, I didn't even watch it. It's play. LA though. Like, said he teared up. He'll be happy. It's said he LA. Said he yeah. If he's, he's going to go anywhere, LA, LA you know, is like, come on. And he's like, possibly last year. LA, last, man. Possibly last year playing. Just as a city, I'm saying he's possibly your last year playing. Oh, I'm not talking about the Rams. I'm talking about, Oh, you're saying screw the city? Uh, well, oh, screw wow. City. Yeah, that's a lot of people, bro. <laughs> <laughs> nah, LA, LA, LA. Yeah. LA. I, mean, I, used to not, I used to really not like LA, though. I really used to be anti LA. Yeah. I mean, I'm anti bougie LA. Yeah. I, I, I like the outside of LA. Yes. Like the outskirts. Yes, yes. The, the yeah? No. No, like the inner, like the, the downtown know, LA. Like, where's their stadium? I don't even know where all their stuff is. Southern Hospital. I don't know, bro, but I had a dream. I was going to their facility. It was crazy. Whose facility? The Rams. You been there? No. It was fake. Oh. It was a dream. But it was like crazy. What's the stadium though? That stadium looks nice. It's very nice. It looks kind of like Cowboys. No, it looks so like light. It no, looks really Because looks- they have open. I don't know it why. It kind of looks like Oakland's in a way. Oakland? Oakland. Like, like, very futuristic. Like, fire. But uh, Dallas is like that too. You been to Dallas? Yeah. That's where I was before I came. Oh, for real? I used to be in Dallas a lot. Bro, you don't think with the screen? That's just ridiculous. It's like the full field, isn't it? It's too... It, pause. Am I, it's just like Atlanta, though. Huh? Many. Atlanta's and Dallas are like basically the same. That screen, bro, makes it crazy. Yeah, like you break that your neck. That screen is looking huge. Screen. Yes, right. for sure. During the game, yeah, bro. Yeah, it's bad. I can't even look, bro. I can't even look during the it's game. It's very convenient if you're a fan. But like, if you're is, a player, bro. you're like... It's like crazy. It's like you're sitting in a movie theater if you're a in fan. In the front row. Yeah, like, yeah, in the front row. It's like the worst <laughs> seat in the movie row. theater as a, as a player. <laughs> yeah. It was, yeah. I, I like I like their stadium, though. Like, or, right, I, stadium. I really like Vegas Stadium. That stadium was just It was awesome. dope. It was beautiful. It was dope. That was That's by the far. the best word I could yeah. come up with. That was, that was just a crazy, crazy stadium. All right, Fetty Wap. Fetty Wap. Man. The rise and the fall. You gotta pay the bills. Shout out to Fetty Wap. We was wondering where his music's been, and now we know why he's been so busy. Yeah, he had 2015 on lock though. <laughs> My man's was killing it. It's What's that song that everybody was rocking with? 1738. 1738. He had some great albums. Um, all right, what do you do? Uh, he was indicted on drug trafficking charges. 
We he was reach. moving weight. But weight, we weight, big weight, 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 kilo weight, kilos yeah. weight. You know, not he to, said not to King justify weight? what he was doing, but we can all agree that his music is not not getting the, the job. No, done, he's so. been off the scene I, for a I, while I now. I, see, as a non musical guy, I really don't know. They what. said he was a prime contribution to the opioid epidemic. Opioid epidemic. They put him up there with Purdue Pharma. That's yeah. crazy. Yeah, I think the that's opioid a, epidemic's already been a thing for a while now. Yeah, that's a big issue for him now. Hopefully, his he has some great lawyers. Yeah, I mean, he's, he's hopefully, hopefully he's, he's been saving up. Lawyers. He got that drug money. Uh, that boy, uh, you know, we'll see. He yeah. still got a following though, so. Do he? I'm, yeah, I'm gonna really do, right. bro. Nah, let me see what that he's talking about. He really do. All right, last question of the day. It's all you, Chris. Let's go. Let's do it. <sighs> we need you to take us out on a hot note, on a good note. Okay? okay. When is the, not last time, we need your best altercation story. Best altercation. Your best altercation story. Oh, this is easy. I would never, like, forget this. Okay, yeah, there we go. We, so, get our popcorn ready. Let's go. It was in the summer, probably... 2017. 2017. Where you? Yeah. Where were you at then? We we this, want the whole picture. This is like I'm about to give you the whole spiel because okay. I would never, like I said, I never forget this. Um, Lexington, Kentucky. This is uh, just a, a night with my guys. I was with Mike Edwards. He plays for the Bucks, and my uh, my other good friend Derry Beatty. We were out to eat. Applebee's yeah. having a grand time. Applebee's, you know, just, yeah, Applebee's, man. Applebee's, Applebee's is kind of soft. Uh, Applebee's is I just great. Chill, Especially that, as a college kid, yeah. nothing crazy. Applebee's is just yeah. nice and or as a low, college low. kid, bro. Yeah. You, that's Applebee's a, is that's a nice love. Dinner. It's a hit. Yeah, and okay. like this is like you know after the, the week after we just left, um, Red, Red Lobster worst experience ever. Haven't tripping. haven't ate Red Lobster since then. Um, since yeah, they be tripping. Red Lobster yeah. be tripping, bro. Terrible. You gonna make seafood? You can't be tripping, bro. Yeah, so. Yeah, we were there. Uh, I remember. I, I'm I'm always I'm 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 a chicken guy. I'm a chicken wing. I'm a wing connoisseur. I love wings. So I, Amen. And I'm also a blue cheese guy. Mm. Amen. I my boy. Hatred towards blue cheese. Blue it's cheese in my just, I love blue cheese, but shit's yeah. Ugly. Um, Damn, see, I blue like that. cheese, bro. Yeah, that it, shit is ugly. Well, I'm surprised, you, bro. Blue cheese is blue. blue? It's, it's, a, it's a man. It's a man thing. Yeah. I used to be a child, and you said, "Hey, nothing blue wrong with right I, I was a young There's man. Literally crumbles of rotten cheese in that. Bro, that don't uh, be hitting though. Yeah. Okay, go back. Go, go, ahead. Um, go ahead. I forgot they even had specials for like one dollar liquor. It was terrible. Oh, well, uh, it was so bad. But it's pretty cheap. We were um, we just you know having a great you know, that, uh, guys night out just chilling and um, you know we wrapped it up and um, we left. We were leaving and it was the you had the Applebee's and it's like a gas station across the street. And like you know, I'm hearing we like hearing like all this commotion, like literally, it's crazy commotion over there in the gas. And I'm like, you know, just like, I'm like let's see, you know, I'm kind of nosy. I'm not even gonna lie. I feel like that's just like a black person thing is to be nosy. But like, I'm like the worst. Like, I, like I'll go out my way to see yeah. what's going on. Is this true? Is this true? So I go over there, and this this guy's just beating the hell out of this girl, this girl, like. He's like that a guy beating a girl. Yes, he's like beating the like literal hell out of her, and I'm like, yo, what's going on? You can't do that, fam. Like, like, like that. So I go run over there, and I throw him off. And You're a good guy, you a yeah, good guy. Yeah, I'm like, I'm like, fam, what you got going on? You tripping? And I'm just, I'm start to like, you know, go, I'm like going Getting to work. ready. Oh, you started woo woo. Yeah, guys, just the adrenaline rush, the moment. Like, so you, you know, pulled him off, and then the bye bye. Yeah, pin, pinned up anger. So I'm just like, all right, I'm like, this is like the perfect opportunity. I'm. And you know they won't even notice because like I'm I'm like you're helping yeah, yeah. like then even then even then like they nobody's gonna catch me I'm like even after the fact it's just, I'm gonna go so as in the mere process I'm like feeling like somebody like hit me in the back of my head I'm like what the hell is going on why is everybody hitting the back she, of the head like she like it's just like straight blows to the back of my head turn around and it's her like she's beating my ass too oh. And I'm like, yo, I'm like, in the midst of it, I'm like, what's going on? Like, he was just beating this, the, he was just beating the hell out of you. Like, what the hell is going on? Why are you beating me? Beat me up. Then, like, I'm like, I took a step back to, like, realize what the hell was going on. 
And they just like both hop back in the car. And they were, they just like, they, I, they, I guess they panic. And he like put it in reverse. He punched it, but it was a car behind him. He ran into the car. Boom. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Then the guy in the car, he's sitting there like, what the hell is going on? And then my, my homeboys are just sitting there. They're rolling. They're on the, they're in the parking lot just laughing their ass. Like they're laughing so much. And I'm like, yo, this is like, this is so crazy. So they, they after he, they back up into the car. Mind you, it's their baby. I guess it's their baby is in the back seat while this is oh happening, too. Oh, my too. gosh. It's like a lot just happening. And like, literally. The, and like, and they didn't the, drive off, did they? They definitely drove off. Oh, they, they, hit, they, they, they hit yes, the car and, they, and it was a hit and run. They, they backed up. I'm like, oh, snap. And they turned and they left. And the guy hopped out the car. They were like, it was like three of them. And they hopped out the car chasing them. And I'm like, yo, I got to go. Like, this is not, this is not Bro, what I thought. This is like a movie, movie scene. Yeah, this yeah. Is, that's what I was just thinking. This is like a legit movie scene. I can so see like, this in a movie. Like, so like they, uh, my, Derek and Mike was like, Bro, I don't even know what that was, but that was like the craziest I've ever seen. And I'm like, I think that might have been like the craziest thing I've ever. But yeah, that was by far the. That's a okay. I just got that was that was a lot. Yeah. I got one thing that what that was when the girl was, I was like hitting you in the back. Was she telling you to stop beating him? Yeah, up? she was like stop hitting him, and I'm like he was just beating the hell out of you. What she say? She was like, "Stop hitting him! Stop hitting! Stop hitting my baby!" And then they just ran away. It's like they, like in the midst, of, like they just hopped in the car. So I'm in shock though, because I when I turned around, I realized it was her hitting me. The confusion level I was—he was now he was like really yeah, so he punch was her. like beating the hell out of her. He was Dang. like he was. And this in the middle of the like the gas, gas station. It was just gas underneath station. like the lights near the pump. yes. So it's like this is this is this. I was like Lex, and don't don't get me wrong, Lexington is very wild. I didn't think it was gonna be wild as it was for my four years there, but. <laughs> okay, everyone a great time. I wish, Go to Lexington, Kentucky. Wow! I wish you would have got the camera, Kentucky man, the camera footage from that. Dude, that this was, sounds just yeah, crazy. It's out there somewhere, probably. You definitely, and you, you guys, Mike, Mike plays for the Bucks, and Derek is in Tampa to this day. Like that's probably the craziest story we all have together. They were laughing. I was not laughing. I was like, so they didn't go to run over there to help though. No. So you was on some just. Solo. Man, let me just. Yeah. Uh, Dang. I don't see anybody would. Anybody would. For sure. Boy, the I'm way saying he, your boys like he was beating her, it sounded like it was kind of wild. Your boys didn't want to help, though. It was wild. Yeah, I mean, I Should've was been like, You did cut. the right thing, though. Yeah. For but sure. They, it was like, okay, you know, C Dub got it. But then when, like, she started hitting me, you know, t- things took a turn for the worse. And I'm like, <laughs> yo, whoa, whoa. I can't believe they hit and ran. Yeah, but they, I mean, I, I, mean, I feel bad probably, for the kid. Yeah, you probably put two and two together. They probably have no insurance. Kids. Like it's probably that's probably the most ideal thing for them to do. I mean, I'm not justifying to hit a run, but hell no. Yeah, guys, wow. that's a that's a that's a crazy story. Guys, that's a crazy story, and uh, that's all we got for the day. Uh, we appreciate your time, Chris. Any last comments, thoughts, and or concerns before we close out here? Um, I just want um, Warzone. The uh, Raven software to like fix the hackers, bro. Like it's ridiculous, bro. I don't know anything. About fix the that. hackers. Fix the hackers. Are the hackers bad, bro. The hackers are out. Like you know, all the Warzone players coming to Apex. You know, they're realizing it's the best BR. So you know, fix your game if you yeah, want to keep your players. Like, I know nothing about. I know. Money. I know nothing about the game. I might get a game system soon. Yeah. yeah. Possibly the little the laptop thing. Okay. Laptop. Nice. Or game monitor. Yeah, mm. yeah man. you still got you got to crawl before you walk. Cause yeah, I don't think exactly. I want to get. Uh, uh, I don't think I want to be doing it. I, I don't know. I just uh, you do, but yeah, you do. You want it a PC, a full computer wait. System. I don't want to do it. All right, anyway, um, <laughs> guys, that's all we got for the day. Ronnie, wait, Ronnie, anything? Tell me something. Come on, give me okay. Something. Tell I got me something. something for you. There you ready? Go. There we go. I love you guys. You guys be safe. I thought, I thought you yeah. guys be blessed. I thought you had something a little better. No, Kevin, Kevin, just my love. comments, thoughts, and or concerns. Uh, I got nothing. Oh, <laughs> man. Yeah, yeah, says it. All right, I, got, I got something. 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 All right, what is it? Eat your fruits. Okay. Eat your vegetables. Eat your lean meats. Eat your fatty meats. So enjoy life. And God bless. I do not like vegetables. They're good for you. I do not like vegetables. How do you not like vegetables, man? 
vegetables are terrible. You're promoting a kid that wants to be in the NFL right now. You don't have to eat, eat vegetables. No, exactly. To get to the NFL. You don't. You need some type of supplement for. Vegetables. All right, we got to get out the show. All right, guys, I love y'all. See ya. Woo. <laughs>